Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan. Today we're going to talk about how we can come boldly and talk to our Father God. Stay right here. Thanks for joining me today. You know, in Hebrews in chapter 4 and verse 16, it says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and grace in time of need. The Lord knows in order for us to stick with the plans He has for us, we're going to need a lot of mercy and a lot of grace. I was called for jury duty last year, and, and I was in that courtroom, and the defendant walked in, and, and he was really dirty and, and scruffy, and his clothes were too big on him. And you know, I, I was quick to make assumptions about him. And the defense attorney walked over to the jury and said, I want to know uh, how many of you, when that gentleman walked in, asked yourself, I wonder what he did wrong. And I thought, oh, I did. <laughs> he said, well, you're wrong. This is America. And we are innocent until proven guilty. And I, I thought to myself, I said, oh, I'm so glad that our Father God isn't like that that he's not quick to judge us on appearances or what we look like or what we've done in the past. But he said, no, come right to his throne, right? Come boldly with an attitude that we can obtain the mercy and grace that he's provided for us. I had a friend of mine that was very upset. They had fallen into some sin and they were just crying, wondering if God could forgive them. And we went to 1 John 1, 9 and said, you know, if you'll confess your sin, God is faithful and just to forgive you of those sins. And, you know, and, and we prayed, asked God to forgive her. And, uh, you know, I said, don't worry. Today is a new day. There's new mercy and new grace for today. And she cried again and said, oh, no, it happened at 1 a.m. It's still the same day. <laughs> well, God's not that legalistic or limited to the time. He's ready and quick to forgive whenever we ask Him to. In Hebrews 8, 12, it says that their sins I will remember no more. God has a sea of forgetfulness. As soon as we are humble enough to go before Him, say, Lord, forgive me. I've messed up. I need your mercy. I need your grace. He takes that sin, tosses it into the sea of forgetfulness. He doesn't want to remember it. He doesn't want to hold account against us. No, instead, He wants us to come boldly to His throne room, to fellowship with Him, to ask for needs that we have, to be able to pray and, and to talk to Him just like He is our true Father. The enemy's the one who's always bringing up sin, past shame, acting like, you know, there's no way God could ever forgive us. That's just a lie. Just know today, you can go boldly to your Father God, just asking to forgive you. There's nowhere that the blood of Jesus doesn't flow. There's not a valley too deep. There's not a mountain too high. There's no shame or darkness that that blood cannot flow to and cleanse and make you completely whole. Oh, I've had fun talking to you. It's so wonderful to know we can go boldly all to a Father God. So glad you joined me. I appreciate all of your likes and love and shares, all of your kindness and support. You're just part of our team, helping us get out this encouragement. If you like this, you can go over to YouTube and subscribe to Amy Bailey Adkins. You'll be notified every week of a new episode. Oh, I can't wait to see you again next Thursday. Thank you.